gonna cook with me. I just did weird things with my arms right there. I don't know what I'm doing. Nothing is but weird that you nothing do. Nothing is weird that I do, you're right. You were just purely perfection. <laughs> yes, wow. I am gonna seriously make sure I keep this video. Oh, you can It'll keep it all. It'll be on YouTube all. forever. And forever. And I'll just play it back. Babe, remember when you said this? And I'll say, and I'll say it again. Okay. So we have an awesome recipe for you guys today. So our whole point in doing these recipes, these one pot meals, is just to give you guys ideas of things that don't require very many ingredients and things that might be in your refrigerator or your pantry as is already because I know all of us are kind of just stuck in our houses and so if we can help provide some sort of recipe to kind of change things up but also not make it too difficult or too many ingredients. That's the whole point of this. So today we are making a one pot cheeseburger pasta. So Ooh. it looks really delicious. We've is, never made this before. So we'll can we call it. it a casserole? Is it what's a casserole? Babe, it's not a casserole. I don't know what it is with you and casseroles they do, lately. Because when you put Daddy's like, is that a casserole? Can we call that a casserole? I'm no, calling it a casserole. It's not a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a casserole. Oh my gosh. It is a one pot meal. Okay. So we are going to do that. I'm going to show you guys real quick what you're going to need. Uh, basically, you're going to need flour. You're going to need some sort of pasta. Now, the original recipe for this has like the shell pasta. We don't have that. As you guys know, the stores are all out of pasta. So we are using what we have. Go ahead and use what you have. So we're gonna do the elbow macaroni. Yeah, so we're showing you guys how to make do with what you have with yes, this. Yes, exactly. So there's that, and then we got, you're gonna need some tomato sauce. I don't know if you're necessarily gonna need this much. <laughs> you guys, all tomato sauce is out. <laughs> so I was at Costco, the business oh Costco, God. doing it, and I just got that, and that was $3.29. This was $3, you know what? We're gonna just open it up, use what we need, and then put it in a container and save it. So. And then we have some if our neighbors or anybody. We might have some mason jars that we could put it in, to be honest. That's actually a perfect idea. Oh. Yeah, I am saving wow, this. Wow, you are amazing. I am saving you this. You are amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, babe. Okay, then you're gonna need a pound of ground beef, so we won't be using all of this. And then some cheese. You're gonna need some beef broth, olive oil, onion, and okay, you're gonna need like hot dog relish. But we don't have any, so we're using salsa verde. today. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Danny just got weird looks. I have used well, because relish and relish. salsa is no, two but different. No, I have used this in place of. This is why I don't want to tell Danny the original <laughs> ingredients because he judges. Oh, so, that is not nice to yeah. say. I do you not judge. judge. <laughs> I do not judge. You judge. You just made the most cringy face right now when I said I'm replacing it with this. I have used this in, in place of relish before in a different recipe turned out great. So awesome. I'm going to do it again. I'm so glad I've never had this recipe so I don't know any difference. Yep, me too. <laughs> All right. So you guys, we are going to get started and just show you guys how quick and easy this is going to be. All right. So you guys, you guys know our favorite thing is to cut onions and uh, cry over it. Oh, shoot. Cry like a little baby. And everyone cry. always gives us like recommendations and suggestions on what to do and we never do it. Well, we already know what we're supposed oh, to do. Oh, I smell it already. I should, Danny's gonna cry, you guys. Oh. This is like the version of like man cold. When you open these, it's like Danny thinks he's dying. Oh, shoot, my eyes. <laughs> See, he's not even cutting it. So what you can do is um, cut it by running water and it is supposed to take away the whatever. Okay. And it's supposed to, it really does work. I've, I've tried it before. Oh, okay, cool, sweet. But the sink is kind of far, so we'll just, we'll go at it like this for now. And so we're supposed to just cut them up in like kind of cubes or? No, just, well, no, just chop it. We, okay. I got my fancy dancy little chopper over here that I'm gonna Ooh -wee. use. Ooh And then we'll be good to go. All right, we got the fancy dancy um, chopper and the fancy dancy Elijah. You Whoa, guys. guest appearance, you yes, guys. Yes, you guys, you know, all the kids have been home. We've all been home, quarantined. So Elijah actually came up to me and was like, hey, can I help you? I think we're all bored. Yes. He must be very bored if he's coming over and saying, can I help you? <laughs> hey, we're going to start bringing the kids into the kitchen a little bit more with us. Yes. Especially... Um, oh with these cook with me's and we're gonna help teach them how to do these easy one pot meals. What do you think, Elijah? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop these up. Elijah, you could try it if you want. Ooh. It's really great way to uh, release your, you know, frustration. Yeah, whenever mom's mad at me, Elijah, she loves to come in and just chop. Pound on it, boy. Sometimes I'm like. Hold it, you pound it. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. Take it. Sometimes. 
sometimes Tina's in here chopping. I'm like, oh, nice. What's for dinner? She's like, nothing. I'm just chopping. Dinner. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I'll be. I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm like, yes, better. Okay, so we're gonna chop up all these onions, you guys, and then we're literally gonna just get the um, meat brown with the onions. Okay, here we go. We got the onions all chopped up. Elijah's gonna help me scrape that right into the pan. I'll just let you take that. Scrape her in. Nice, oh, that sizzle. Nice. It's the best sizzle. Hey, what is cooked onions? Do you, does it make you cry more? No. no. Okay, so it actually amazing. smells so good. It does already. Okay, so there's that. And then we are going to add the meat. I will handle the meat so Elijah doesn't have to. And I was wrong. It's actually a half a pound of meat. You can use Ooh, as much as Ooh, I think want. we should use a pound and double everything. You think, Danny? I think so. Wow. It's not very often that I, I do, I but... Too many. Thing. I think there's too many cooks in the kitchen right now. Okay, see ya. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's this. We're gonna just put this in and then we will freeze the rest of this. Ooh. I love meals where you can just like, they taste just as good when you heat them up. And I feel like this is one of those. We got the, do you know what this is called, Elijah? A meat masher. Whoa! Oh, you are allowed into the kitchen. This is literally one of my favorite utensils. We've had it for years. I felt like it was broken, but I think it was a dream. Oh. I must have had a dream that this broke. Oh, I was no. like, oh, hello, serious? that's not a dream. That would have been the end of the world. That's a nightmare. That is, <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> So basically, Elijah, this is another way you to take out your meat. Ooh. So you always have to have a parent in the kitchen when the kids are there because make sure you don't put your arms on the pot, okay? You don't want to burn yourself. I will not. I am big boy. All right, boy look at that. Burning. Mash that meat, boy. Mash, mash, mash it up. Oh, why does it feel so, so good? The secret to the meat masher is you can see how it's kind of curved. You want to mash and twist, mash and twist. Mash, twist. See, mash, mash and twist. twist. Mash, twist. Yeah, grind mash, that baby. Twist. Mash. Please. Boom, it's moving along. Yes, and it's smelling good. It's just it's wow. literally just the onion. You guys, but check this out. Oh my gosh, this is like a swimming pool. Oh pool? man. This is a swimming pool. Pool. Oh. That thing's huge. That is huge. That's so good. We're gonna have fun. Um, Mason jarring that? Yes. Yeah, so we are going to basically drain the excess fat that's in here. Because the only meat that we had access to was 80-20, so that's okay. Okay, next up, you guys, we are adding two tablespoons of flour into this one-pot meal. Boom. And be careful not to let the flour burn at the bottom. Yes, Danny just heard me read that. <laughs> okay, ready? Because it does form a little bit of a paste, and at the bottom, it has a tendency it could have the possibility of burning if you don't look out for it. So make sure as it uh, forms that paste at the bottom Danny's that like, you uh, no. you make sure it doesn't burn. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> make sure it doesn't burn, Mom. Burn, burn baby, burn. burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to add a cup of tomato sauce to this. Ooh. Oh, I do love me some tomato sauce. Though. Honestly, plain, plain tomato sauce is not so good. No? Not good. It's good for cooking, honestly. Yeah. Tomato soup, on the other hand. Yeah. Actually, no, tomato, tomato soup is actually pretty good. Yeah, it is. Okay, Elijah, you want to help me stir in the two cups of beef broth? Yeah. You want me to do it while you stir? Uh, do it right now. Okay, I'm ready? Start stirring. Teamwork, baby, I love it. Yeah. Two cups, yeah. two cups of beef broth going in. Getting wet and noodly. Ooh, check that out. We're gonna add more because we have more meat. So I'm gonna oh. just put more in here. You have to have enough liquid for your pasta, so. Oh. <laughs> here you go, Tina loves to measure with her heart. That's right. If I'm being honest right now, it looks out. like a kind of soup. It does, it looks like a total soup. Okay, now we're gonna add the pasta. Like I said, you can use pretty much whatever you have in your pantry. The specific recipe calls for the shells. We don't have the shells, so we are doing... We're making it work. The macaroni, baby. Ooh, macaroni. the elbows. Macaroni, the elbow macaroni. Oh, it's so oh, nice. Are you putting all of it or how much? That's good. So for the viewers, do we know about how much they should use? Yes, so for the pasta, you can use a half pound of pasta shells. And then the beef broth is two cups. And yep, yeah, so you're good. Nice. Yep. 
This is almost reminding me like a goulash. <laughs> it seems like a lot of the recipes we've been making have been goulashy, <laughs> but this goulash. one I feel like is going to have a different taste though because it's got a lot of the tomato sauce in it. Yeah, it looks real soupy to me. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's got to cook. Elijah, mixing up the witch stew. And it looks like stew. Oh. Stir, baby, stir. We stir the stew as it makes you cue. Let you go up. <laughs> okay, never mind. Wow. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is cover this, and then you're going to still have the heat up high. You're going to bring it to a boil, and then once it's boiling, you take the lid off, stir it around again, turn your heat down, and then let it simmer for a little bit. All right, here we go, you guys. Ooh. 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 Check that out. It's almost like um, an advanced version of Hamburger Helper. Wow. No, I'm saying you advanced. Downplayed. No, 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 I said advanced. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> only because. Hamburger and it's got pasta. There you it, go. It's only because of the elbow pasta. Because yeah. imagine with the shell pasta, that would be awesome. It'd almost be like um, your stuffed shells, right? Should I kick Danny out of the kitchen, you guys? No, why? Did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> no. Okay, ready? We're doing. Um, relish. The relish. Which is salsa Ooh, salsa I actually there, okay? gonna be honest, I prefer the salsa and looking at it right now. I do too. That salsa Relish just looks way better. A little silly to me. Almost like like a it would add like a sour, sweet and sour instead of like a spicy. Yeah. So you guys we're gonna add the cheese in. We're just gonna be very generous. So Elijah's gonna stir that up. And then, you guys, this is honestly gonna be good. Oh yeah, be careful not to touch that bud, okay? It does look, it looks very similar to the goulash, but it's gonna taste totally different. That's true. It's more like a tomato-y, I feel like, flavor. What What's different that you put in the goulash than you put in here? Um, well, I don't do the salsa verde, we don't do onions, we don't do, um, the only thing that's the same is the beef broth. Oh, okay. Yeah, so everything else is different. It just looks similar. Wow, look at that, it's gonna be nice and cheesy. It's a cheeseburger pasta, you guys, so. I'm surprised it didn't, it didn't call for, like, salt. Look at that, though. Yeah, you wanna put some in? Yeah. Oh, wow, you guys. Do you think this is gonna get us so good from Ethan? That's you, the question. Remember, our last one did not get us so oh, good. It got, oh, what, 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10, yeah. Yeah, but a lot of you guys are liking that one. A lot of you guys are watching and liking the ramen noodle, what is it, casserole? The, yeah, the ram, uh, ramen chicken noodle casserole. Yeah, so that was actually, and I was kind of with Ethan, about 8 out of 10 on that one, but Danny and Emberlyn, like, loved We loved it. You guys, I, fi I finished it but literally the next day. It was gone. Yeah, was that like the, literally gone. Was that the ramen cashew? Yeah. I, I tried it, it was like six out of ten. Wow, this looks thick. Yeah. I like them thick and like them chunky. Oh. I like, I like them thick. I like them like chunky. Wow. <laughs> Only food, we're just talking about food. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's dish this up. We got it all dished up, look at that. All dished up, don't Ooh. know what to do. Elijah and I are gonna give this a go. You want a fork? I'm gonna try this out, and then, I'll, and then Ethan's gonna step in here. Ooh, so it's really hot, blow on it. For me, just because of how I do it, I would probably put grated Parmesan on it, but we don't have any right now. That's true. You but, could add extra cheese on top. Anything with pasta, you guys, I just always Cheers. add grated Parmesan. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's good. What does it taste like? A burger. It does. Really? It does. And I think, it's got like a tomato-y flavor. What makes it taste like a burger, I think, is the tomato sauce. Okay, this so is, is it like, good. not like Sloppy Joe? Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Kind of, yeah. Oh, kind of, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, Actually, yeah. I need All right, to try let's guys, see. Ethan's gonna give it a go. Can we get family, a, we share. Can we get a so good? Hot. It's hot. So good. Yeah! Oh! Oh! It's exactly like a sloppy joke. It does taste like wow. a sloppy joe. Yeah. Like with cheese. Wow. Like a sloppy joe with cheese. I, I'm a good Would you ever put that in between two um two yeah. buns? Ooh. Oh. That would be good with the French bread. Yes. Ooh. I, I'm going to take this. Thing. That's delicious. Okay. There you go, you guys. Another successful one pop meal. We are so excited. Woo!
All right, you guys, so there you have it. I hope you guys will try this out. Super easy, literally like took us no time, I feel like. So make sure you guys try it out. Let us know how you do. Send us all the pictures. We love getting pictures of you guys making the different recipes. We did have, have a few this week. Yes, we did. So keep sending the pictures and that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, choose your day. day.